Hello and welcome to the 43rd episode of the Herod Campaign, a fourth age Total War Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. I am Wombat, or Wombat as you please. We are in turn 49. Um, let's see if I can recall what we've been doing this turn. Let's see, you're going there to be more garrison, that's right. And what's happening on this end? Okay, so what we're doing over here is we're just going to run uh, these armies straight through Adunabar's territory. I'm going to go south of this, uh, the lake, what's that called? Loon, or whatever this lake is. What's it called? Sea of uh, Nernan. Okay. <laughs> the Sea of Nernan. I'm going to go south of that because I don't want to uh, create a border between myself and uh, uh, North Ru and, and uh, Rune, rather. Uh, which would happen if I, if I took this settlement, um, Lawn Nernan. So I'm just going to go through uh, the south here burn all of these territories. I'm not going to go through Minith Ithel because I want to leave that in the hands of the Reunited Kingdom and then just come up through here and then probably leave uh, uh, Car Andros in the hands of the Reunited Kingdom as well. And yeah, so that's how I'm going to get these armies back into play um, in Gondor. And then um, in Hrondor, I've consolidated Hrondor. Everything's looking peachy. Um, we've got uh, that army of um, Adunabar that had second thoughts, they're going to run back to Evan Arnon, and I'll just besiege them there and then take Evan Arnon. I'm ready to do that. Um, and sort of got, uh, I've got Reunited Kingdom now in the same situation that Adunabar was in, where there are uh, enemy territories between them and uh, Evan Arnon, or at least where, where my holdings are. So if I take Evan Arnon, uh, Reunited Kingdom still isn't going to be causing me troubles, except that they've got this one settlement here. Do they have this settlement? No. So the, the, this one settlement here could recruit troops, but I'll be demolishing that shortly. Not too much of a problem. Um, there is an issue that I don't have any ports uh, in Harnan at the moment. So um, I can't actually just go across the sea and do sea raids as would be uh, my normal policy unless I were to bring armies all the way down to um, Habad. I don't really feel like doing that. Um, and I'm not really uh, in the moods to make more armies because I've got a lot of overhead right now. I'm not making as much money as I might otherwise. Okay, so let's get to doing my um, diplomacy. I'm going to start with uh, Your service. Let's see, Khan. Khan, would you be so kind as to accept overlordship? Um, you can accept a real attack and you can take. 200,000. No, they're not going to do it. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that for now. Make sure they aren't going to lose their settlements. We've got quite a few turns for that. Did we... I think we went through and did all our other diplomacy, so I'll do that real quick. Not getting too much out of anybody this turn. Now, I'm not going to try to make peace with the Dunabar because I actually want to go through their territory now and claim it for my own. I'm not going to actually be claiming this northern, this uh, southern Mordor territory. It's from my own. I'm just going to be burning them down basically as I travel through. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get our other agents done. Okay, he can get on a ship without needing a port. Who's in this army? Just a few guys. I wanted him to be a governor of something. Probably Harlorn. But I'm going to hold off on that until I have some ports to send armies with. 
So what I'll do is I'll plan on him becoming governor of Hem and Arnon. That's appropriate. So he can actually get off right here. Hi, my lord. Off the boats. And then my can he move? My Orders, Only a little bit. My eyes are yours. That'll be good enough for right now. What's here? Okay. You can go back. Hi, my lord. The rogues. Okay, it looks like everything that my agents can do this turn. I'm going to have to start taking these agents up north. By the time I get there, there probably won't be any Reunited Kingdom back up here. It looks like Tharabad is making very short work of them up here. Yep, they're just being swept right up. This, that's their last uh, three settlements. Those will be gone very soon. Okay. And then um, it'll just be whatever Reunited Kingdom has here remaining in the west. Um, and then uh, for the fortress of Car Andros and Meneth Ethela, that I'll leave them. Since neither of those two settlements can actually make units, they'll be safe to leave in the hands of the enemy. All right, uh, let's go ahead and save what we've done so far. And uh, can we actually get in here? We've got 78% chance. There should be another spy around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Get in there. There we go. Now we can go ahead and take that settlement. Who do we want to take it with? A lot of uh, range units would be really handy. Not too many of them get in range. What do we have here? Just a couple of little units. Probably just rush. They'll both be in the square. So hanging back and firing might not be a good option, especially the way this type of settlement is arranged. On the other hand, all their units are much better than mine in hand to hand. What can we recruit here? It's a lot of money. Don't really want to spend that kind of money. So what I can just do is get my swords of hair at all of these units with their uh, range attacks. That should be fine. Can I get? Who else can I get close enough? Okay, all of these foot soldiers. All right. So. Uh, oh, first of all, let's get some money. 
Gotta get money coming in somehow. Hey you. Give us some money. Yeah, we know you don't like a dune bar. Who does? They're stinky. Put you in there and then can put you in there as well. And that's all we can get in there, right? Nobody else can reach. Okay. Hope is not victory. True enough. True enough. Wise words from Gandalf the White. Okay, who do we want to run in? Let's have these spearmen run in. These are all units that we actually kind of want to get rid of. Oh crap. I didn't realize these guys would be right there. They'll be going back to the square. I, just, I should have been more observant. This means I'll have to stop my men once they get to, like right on, under the uh, gates. Nope, 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 nope. Crap. Go back. Yes, go on home. Go. Okay, I'll speed that up until they get out of the way. Okay, that should be good. Now get up there. out and try to shoot at me. That is not something I expected. I really anticipated they would just stay inside the square. Yeah, that is curious. Okay, you guys. Let's see if you're fast enough to get along this wall before you get shot to pieces. These dark bows have a pretty decent range. Not as good as my red sand archers, but good enough for their cost. So they could probably hit my guys on the wall from near, from up on this platform. Are you guys going to get in? Nah, frick it. And, uh, yeah, these southern spears could probably be destroyed by a single volley, or at least be made to uh, route by a single volley. Look at this. They are just coming down. That is so weird. Okay, I'm going to stop my men here then. Why would they be coming down like this? I've never seen the AI behave like this before. They've got two units, they keep them in the square, and that's just the rules. What are they going to do? Are they going to come all the way down? I wonder. I'll speed things up. Okay, so now they're going back in. That was peculiar. I guess they were trying to get in range to fire at my men on the walls, and then figured out that wasn't going to work. But now it looks like they're doing the same thing on this side. What 
is this all about? Man, they're already shooting it. Wow. Look at the range, see? They think they can hit them from here. And they could if it weren't for these buildings in the way. Fortunately, these guys don't seem to care that I've ordered them to go outside, but they aren't getting hit, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. That's why part of their unit is on the other side of the city. Okay, so let's have all of these guys... Uh, have you guys approach from this side. You... You'll approach from over here. And what I'll do is I'll have the red sand archers over here, my other archers over here. And then I'll have my generals over here. This is actually working to my advantage because I've got these uh, guys distracted. I might just want to leave these guys exactly where they are. Yeah, I'll just leave them right there, where they're a nice, juicy distraction. Okay, now let's wait till everybody gets in position. Okay, so nobody needs to be firing anymore. There we go. The world is full enough of hurts and mischances without wars to multiply them, the warden of the Houses of Healing. I'm not going to need anybody to stay inside of the settlement. We'll go ahead and lay them desolate. Let's see, we want to... Very high... Get everybody outside, and then destroy just everything. Well, we'll leave the homeland dominion for now, so that we don't incur a penalty throughout our entire kingdom. But we'll get rid of everything else. And get rid of the harbor. And let's leave it for now. Get rid of those later. Banquet halls. Can get rid of that. All right. So we'll leave the financial buildings until it's actually ready to rebuild. It'll probably be after next turn. Okay. Did I save? I don't remember if I saved. So I'm gonna save anyway. We 
I did a lot of my unit movement last turn. Uh, kind of looking like that's all I need to do right now. Let's go ahead and get this guy over here just so we can see who's moving where. Not a lot of units down here to contend with. Okay, and do we have any ships up here that need to be moved? I know I'm always forgetting to move ships. Where would a ship be that needs to be moved? Here. Okay, he's been moved. Good. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and end. Oh, look at that! I wasn't expecting him to take the initiative. Well, he's attacking me in a really stupid way. But he's got a lot of cavalry, so that could be an issue. I've got all of these footmen of Herod, which I actually don't mind losing. So I'll just blockade them at the river ford and then uh, shoot them all up. And if I end up losing all of my footmen of Herod, I don't mind too much. The roots of evil lie deep, and from far off comes the poison that works in us. Or alas, son of Baragon. They shouldn't have any units that can ford whereas my units, a lot of them, can. Uh, what I mean by Ford is like a swim, is what I mean. <laughs> okay, it looks like there's just one Ford point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have all of these spearmen right at the front. I have them in a deeps formation so they can last as long as possible. Okay, I'll have my mounted skirmishers on this side in the woods. Can I get them? Well, one of them can't because can't, can't hide, that is, because he's the general. Alright, that's good enough. Let's make the general go back a little bit. Okay, these guys can definitely swim, right? Yep, they can swim. So they're going to be ready to run into the water and get some shots in on the flanks. And we'll have them in loose formation because they're probably going to get some enemy fire. Okay, and you guys, these guys should all be in loose formation. Okay, you... You can't swim, can you? Nope. You've got a longer range, so you can be like right there. Okay, you can be ready to mop up once everybody starts retreating. Alright, you can swim, so you'll be going up front. Can you guys swim? Yep, they can swim too. So let's do this. Let's go like that, like that. Actually, let's only have half of them on this side because they're liable to have some archers on the other side that I need to target. Kind of want everybody hidden as much as they can be. Eh, I'll leave it the way it is. Okay, you guys need to be on the inside. Okay, got our spearmen back here. They will be a backup unit. In case the first line starts to falter. Same with these swordsmen, actually. Well, these swordsmen are a little closer so they can actually throw their spears when the enemy gets close. Okay, anybody I'm forgetting? Looks like I've got everybody positioned. Let's go ahead and... Well, let's... Uh, have these guys like so, and these guys like so. The reinforcements are here, but will they be enough for final victory? Don't know. I forgot to tell these guys to be under my command. I'm not sure if they will be. So I can find them. Yeah, it looks like they are in my command. They're not coming in until I want them to. They probably won't want them to. They're far too few to be of any use for anything anyway. 
So these guys are the aggressors, so they will have to come forward. Let's see how far I can fire. Just about to right there. Okay. Uh, I actually don't want them using up their ammo already. Put too many archers on that side. That wasn't my intention. Can you guys swim? They can, okay. Who can't swim? Okay, you just see where a unit that can't swim can go. Can't go there, so to get these guys just about on a line here. Okay, now they're rushing. Okay, time to get all of my mounted range units into place. Okay, these guys here. And archers here. Actually, we don't even need them to be in loose formation anymore. So we can get them a little bit better like so. And then you guys here. Okay, and we can start having the skirmishers run across. Oh, that's the wrong guys. Now you guys just keep Attacking them. It's you who I need to run across. Okay. He's getting hit. Everybody finish them off, please. Try to have my archers concentrate on these mounted troops. Throw my javelins at these heavily armored guys. And then these cavalry here are some elite units. They should cause some distress, intimidation effect on the enemy. Okay, let's have you concentrate on... Okay, the horsemen, those horsemen are broken. These ones are not. Let's get them. Oh, back. Where are they? These ones. Get them. Going well. That's uh, all the horsemen broken, right? Yeah, all the horsemen are broken now. So now we can charge forward with our swordsmen and we can get all of our ranged units concentrating on some other things like dark swords would be fine. Oh, almost everybody's done now. To go fight Swords of Shadow. Oh, 
Okay, that's everybody broken. Let's have everybody concentrate now on taking out the general. You guys can move back here. Well, this general unit is really well armored. I mentioned that before, I'm sure, but it's still pretty remarkable to see every time I see it. They're taking so many volleys and just one guy falling. Okay, everybody, let's come back here. Okay, you guys. Come over here and stop shooting. Uh, let's see. You can get these kills, I think. Yep. Say that was a pretty dumb move on the part of a Dunabar. We're done, right? Yeah, okay. Where did we lose people? Mostly from Footman of Herod, that's good. I'm trying to get rid of them. And it looks like, uh, oh, here we go. Twice one is not always two. So that's going to be uh, a good end of the episode point. Um, I've got to get going. Okay, come on. Okay, we just had a little freeze there during the AI turn, uh, but fortunately I was able to get through and save and then uh, come back. So uh, that'll be the end of uh, this episode. This will conclude episode 43 of the Herod Campaign, a fourth age Total War Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion, comprising turns 49.2 through 50.1. I have been Wambat, or Wombat as you please. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and remember to check in weekly at our Facebook page at Wambat LPS for weekly raffle giveaways of Steam Keys.